All right, so in previous video, we figured out that in VirtualBox 6.0, we need to be aware of something new. Well, it's something that's standard set in the display. This needs to be VBox VGA for me. Standard, it's on this one. But since you, well, since my workflow says, let's make a template and then I can actually forget it and say, let's clone this and start with installing Arco Linux D. And you'll see, let's check it. You'll see that the settings of course are the same since they are actually a copy paste of um, the other one. So basically we are going to install Arco Linux D now. And I think it's gonna be this one, but to be sure. So yeah, that's that one. Double click it, move it over here. Enter control F to make full screen. And if we set it correctly, we don't mean, but we get a very large, well, 1920 and 1080 since that's the resolution of my native uh, screen. And that's how it should be. So it, this setting was not uh, kicking in for some reason. And that's why we need to change the graphic driver. I was looking in all other elements which were possible as well, but basically it's the setting in VirtualBox 6.0. Installing Arco Linux D is um, a graphical installer. You choose your language if you want to change it. It all depends what comes behind it. If it's Xmonad, it doesn't have an impact. If it is XFCE, there are translations in different kind of languages. If it's a complete desktop, a known desktop, then probably yes. Tiling window managers, no. Openbox, no. So you change the language here. Of course, the language is going to uh, change here as well. If you can't follow in here and use need to use your own language like this, then uh, you can do so. Next, the website that it refers to to ask your IP to know where you're from is um, still unavailable. So it's a free website from KDE, I believe. That's not uh, that's under maintenance for some reason. And we have to click on the map to find where we live. That's okay. And then a Belgian keyboard for me. You choose your keyboard, test it out. And then next, erase the disk. Next, who are you? What's gonna be your login basically? And I'm going to start until it's this and the name of the computer, password one, password two. If you want to log in automatically, it will not work in all the desktops, but some of them will work. And use the same password for the administrator account. That's that. And off we go. We are installing Arco Linux D on VirtualBox. And as you can see, in a proper resolution this time, because of our setting in VBox. VirtualBox. Pausing here. And there we are, all done. So what you do is click on here and on the button done uh, because I want to get rid uh, shut down then shut down because at uh, in, in VirtualBox we have to get rid of this line here otherwise it will boot up again with the DVD or the ISO so if we boot up now Control F is okay full screen already then we have Arch Linux D installed. And we are going to log in. And the things you can do is, for instance, check if you have the fastest Arch Linux servers around. Not Arco Linux, Arch Linux. This is still an Arch Linux based system. He's rating them. And I guess as a list. Afterwards, you can have an update to see if anything new came in or if anything new comes in from the AUR. And that's it. So our machine is ready to install now XFCE, uh, i3, Xmonad, BSP, WM, Plasma, anything goes. This is our setup. What we need to do now is clone it again and say this time I'm going to try out Xmonad. Next, next, and we're cloned. And on that particular hard disk, that virtual machine, you're going to continue your work. I can always go back to this version if something went wrong and clone it again and start afresh. That's my workflow. And there we are. 
Of course, the setting is still OK. Let's check it. So in every video, you see the importance of this setting here, VBOX VGA. All right.